Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Randomizer Nuzlocke. And hello, hi, and oh, hi, Ryan. Oh, hi. <laughs> so BJ isn't able to make it this week, but we did get someone else here. Someone I've actually wanted to help join us most of the weeks. Ryan. <laughs> Hey, uh, so sorry it took me so long to get in on one, on, uh, one of these things. So, we're battling N right off the bat. This is our second fight with N. Artisan N. He's the only person who kept his original name. And he starts off with an Absol. I fucking hate him. <laughs> rubbing Snowstorm's death right in my face, you bastard. Uh -huh. He's just rubbing salt in the wound. Oh, oh my poor Snow. <laughs> yeah, right now our one fallen Pokemon. Yes, because the other time we had a Pokemon die was bullshit and we didn't count it. Oh, speaking of which, that bullshit was the Zekrom. Hey, Ann, you may want to go back a route if you're looking for it. Wait, what? Yeah, you yeah you missed it, uh, Ryan. In the last video, uh, Kenshi was going back uh, through um, the previous uh, route and he came across uh, four, like, back-to-back four preschoolers that all had Title Elite 4, and one of them had a Zekrom with Dragon's Rage. Which uh -huh. is a move that should... Which the randomizer has a checkbox for banning game-breaking moves. Guess what one of the examples of a game-breaking move is in that list? Dragon's Rage. That Zekrom was using a move, it shouldn't have it. Oh my god, are wait, you serious? Wait, what? 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 Oh, oh, fuck! <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> and has the power of God! This son of a bitch wants Zekrom? <laughs> you have hey. fucking God! What do you hey, need a Zekrom for? Wait, <laughs> in, in, wait, just for the rules, in Legendary Bingo, Arceus is the middle, is the middle box. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> if you so, strike yes. me down, Blitz, remember that I died for your sins. <laughs> I mean, it's like, look, I know, yeah, End is an amazing character, but seriously, you have to give him God. <laughs> <laughs> this is, the only way this could be funnier is if Getsis has the devil. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that hurt. Ugh. But Blitz managed to bring down God, which technically makes him a God killer. You just booted God in the face. <laughs> Blitz is the to real God in this universe. To God I bequeath a boot to the head. <laughs> oh! And he fall he follows up God with Smurgle. Smurgle, 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 Smurgle. Jesus freaking Christ, this is hilarious. <laughs> Smurgle. For those who don't know, Smurgle has a gimmick in which it has a move called Sketch. This move has one PP at any time, and when it sketches, it basically works like Mimic, except instead of temporarily becoming the move, it permanently adds that move to its move pool, meaning that it can use Sketch up to exactly four times. And it can learn almost any move in the game. Almost? Yeah, well, but... so much, so much of that fucking Smeargle did. <laughs> like, uh, the problem is what, that Smeargle what... was really fast and not slow, so it didn't get a move on. I it just want you to realize that he had God on his team, and Smeargle is a smoking gun. <laughs> <laughs> and he wants the power of Zekrom, Dude, which, as we ha around. saw... Back a, go back around, beat the shit out of the preschool elite four, and take his goddamn Zekrom, cheating bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I Lord. want my Zekrom. Wait, all right. I completely forgot I had one of these. Oh, Mother Lord. Motherfucker, you have God on your team, and you want a <laughs> Zekrom. <laughs> I want a god on my team. What the fuck? Yeah, seriously, it's like how come Ed Ed gets all the cool you're shit? You're drunk. <laughs> god. Oh lord. Oh lord. Right. Is... <laughs> god. Now she's imagining a drunk Ed. <laughs> oh, I right, look. Here's the thing. I am Catbug. <laughs> Okay, Bernie. <laughs> <God>. uh. 
hey, oh, hey, shit. If, if N is drunk, if N is drunk, does that make Zekrom Ashley? Sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> hey, you're the one who referenced Rooster Teeth out of nowhere. Yes! <laughs> Oh my god. So yes, we've oh, got our of, limber... Yeah, speaking of Rooster Teeth, uh, Ryan, have you uh, been keeping up with uh, Ruby Season 3? Yes, I have. yes. Uh, um, after premiering the third episode last week, yeah, they just uploaded onto YouTube. Oh my god, Crow! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently he shares a voice actor with um, Colonel Mustang from the... Uh, uh, Full Metal Alchemist stuff. Uh, actually, no. It is Full Metal Alchemist, but it's not. It's not um, Colonel Mustang. It's a. Uh, it's Vic Mignogna. Oh. Yeah, yeah. The voice actor is Vic Mignogna. He voiced Edward Elric. Oh, nice. <laughs> Which honestly took me by surprise because it's like usually I, I you know Vic Mignogna is not hard to tell right off the bat. I honestly could not tell that that was him with Crow. It's like, right. it, it, you know, because he's not doing, like, you know, his high-pitched, squealy, you know, rage voice or anything. He's playing a fucking drunk. <laughs> a badass yeah. drunk, but a drunk nonetheless. Ah, <laughs> uh, so here we are in the museum, because I was like, okay, I don't know how powerful the gym's going to be, so I'm just going to go uh, try out one of the trainers. Oh boy, does this get fun. So we have the obvious Dragonite skeleton. Like, it's a dragon type. Yeah, Dragonite. It's like the most obvious yeah, thing. It had ever. an accident while flying and thus it became a fossil. That's the, that's like, you know, the kid's way of saying it died. <laughs> and of course here's the a completely ordinary Here's a completely random ordinary stone that we for some reason keep in a museum that's supposed to be for only important things. But obviously this stone couldn't possibly be important, otherwise why would it be here? I mean, obviously. Well, I mean, as opposed to the other things that we see in this museum, everything in the museum except for that one random stone, it has three dimensions. That stone has two dimensions. <laughs> yeah, that's not a dead giveaway. <laughs> Clearly, so, clearly uh, it can't be moved, I mean. I'm glad he only does this for two gems. This is, like, I like the, the fresh water buddy, but I prefer you not to get in my way. Alright, fine, I'll take your fresh water, just get out of my face. <laughs> Normal type gym leader, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. <laughs> you should get fighting types to deal with this normal type gem. Everyone has ghost Pokemon. You don't even know half of it, dude. Ne Hi, Neo. <laughs> Hi, Neo. So our first trainer, the one that gives us an idea of the difficulty curve of this gym, sends out a... Oh, hi, Elite Four, Another Rachel. Another Elite Four? Wh what? This is, okay, With a so Gorbice. This is the... What the fuck? Uh... This is the fifth... This is the fifth member of the Elite Four we've seen. What the fuck? But still... <laughs> yeah, uh, oh I, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I must be having like a severe brain fart right now. I do not remember this Pokemon. I okay, do. I, to be fair, I don't remember Gorbos that much either. I only really know of Gorbo... Gor Nagiba, this thing, because of the fact that I actually did complete the Pokedex twice now. Uh, nice. Once for X and once for um, Omega Ruby. But what the fuck does it come from? Like, what's the evolution family? Okay. It was, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, one of the mid, uh, one of the two <laughs> evolutions of a clam pearl. Yes, clam pearl can evolve by trade if it's holding either the deep sea scale, which will turn it into a Gore voice, or a deep sea tooth, which will evolve it into a Huntail. Gore voice is more of a defensive Pokemon, whereas Huntail is more of an offensive Pokemon. Oh, okay. Hot tail for the win. Okay, because I, I remember Clam Pearl, but that's like, I do not remember this thing. Uh oh. Oh, oh fuck. This doesn't look good. Uh... 8 HP left, and it's confused. Well, at least it's getting crit hits. Yep, that's Where super is that? Lock. Oh dear. Ah shit. Miss. Miss. Wait. Oh, okay, that works too. 
Well, yes. see that one guy that, 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 that to the got in my face Pokemon. at the Pokemon gym gave me this fresh water, otherwise I would have been screwed. Yeah. Well, I do have a couple super potions, but not a lot. But oh, yes, that's, let's oh, get that, that's fresh, also true. Yeah. Fresh water to the water Pokemon as it dies from water. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know what, Vapor? You know what, Vapor? Why do you have fresh water? I mean, don't you have natural spring water or some shit coming out of that thing that's on your head? I don't know. I it's like, you. well, it's like um, I'm trying to think. Uh, and pointy course, thing, horrible, it, like it's pointy nose. You can probably just stab it. Oh, you know what? I think I remember BJ once saying about this Pokemon that it's like, what was it like? Uh, because of its long nose, it can pretty much suck the blood out of its enemies. Yeah. Seriously? Yes. That's this thing a, will drink oh, your shit. bodily fluids. Oh yeah. God. Yes, but we get really. We get released from the warp hole just in time to not die, and my first thought is to heal it, not swap it the fuck out. <laughs> but still, it lived on one hit point. Vaporwave is a trooper. <laughs> Hell yeah. So yeah, Gorbis is clearly part mosquito. Actually, I think it's part leech. Oh god, that's even worse. I imagined it was part mosquito because of its long, pointy nose. Yeah, but well, what does it? But it's not exactly a bug type, so. <laughs> well, I'm not saying it is a bug type. But I mean, just looking at his nose, it kind of looks like a mosquito. <laughs> yeah, but wouldn't that be a bug type? <sighs> god, god, fucking damn it! Never mind, never mind. <laughs> I'm like, it sucks blood, and which is like a mosquito, but it's not a bug. We know. And... <laughs> I'm sorry, I've lived with mosquitoes. They are bugs, they are pests. Nobody likes mosquitoes. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody likes you know mosquitoes. They're introduced... Nobody likes mosquitoes and wasps. Yay, Spe it's dead. Speaking of bugs, everybody hates hey, this. He is dead. <laughs> Finally. Oh, that's one pest off my board. <laughs> oh, hey, water water. Yep, and I'm like. Okay, I might be able to use this. What does it do? Reward. We can fire type moves. I've been getting hit with a lot of fire type moves, and I might run into a rush uh, rush around. Yeah, I kind of want this. I like, well, 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 you're already a water type. Fire moves shouldn't do a whole lot of damage. So far, I've been proven wrong by just about everything in this game. This, I want to point out that true. I've been. I want to we... point out, N had God. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we yeah. It's like you know, we hoofed God in the face, and we and we almost lost to a fucking Zekrom. Aye, aye, aye. Well, time to go heal up again. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay, Twy Dry. What? <laughs> you remind me of that uh, really dry delivery from Twilight when the books got all knocked over. Time to clean up this mess. Again. I don't even know what that is, but I'll, I'll take the reference. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm the only one who really watches that show out of all of us. Oh. Eh. Next week is the season 5 finale. Oh boy. I am going to enjoy watching, uh, Bitch McBitch Face get punched in the bitch face. Aha! Uh -huh. Please, Sorry, please, makes... you tell me more! <laughs> like, I don't really need an awakening. <laughs> we do not have a fire emblem on us. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Okay, here we go. Get rid of this. Hey, you want no one freaking, Hey, you want my no one freaking, oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> no one uses an X defense. Don't need a ring target. Don't need an X speed. That's pretty much it. I won't need this great ball. No, wait, no. Fuck. Uh, I mean, eventually I won't. And of course, oh. I check to see if there's any special balls over on this side of the mart. And oh, hey, net ball. Doll. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I spent all my money on. Po uh, potions, so I'm like... It's a fair trade! <laughs> yeah. But Eddie's all... Switch out Titanium for the front, since he's the lowest level. Yeah. 
And of course, we have random TMs, and I thought this guy was a trainer, but nope, he gives you a TM. Oh. And in this case, it becomes Hyper Fang for some reason. Nice! I, in the original game, it's Rock Smash. <laughs> ha. A completely useful move if I were actually fighting normal type Pokemon. Uh oh. Sounds like they're yep. about going on. Oh, there it goes. And. Elite Fall. Legendary oh. Bingo! Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> gentleman we have a Tristan. A nurse who is a gentleman. Who has a Regigigas. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, boom. Uh. Uh. That's like, say, okay, it's like, this, where are these people getting these legendaries? <laughs> You, you know what this is, Danny? This is all the Pokemon files you never finished that but left one legendary in. <laughs> and this is before I mean, Wonder Trade was a thing. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a good point. This is before Wonder Trade was a thing, where people could just <laughs> throw anything into the space and get anything back. Oh God! <laughs> Speaking of which, if any of our, if anyone on the Spiffy Needle Geek fandom wants to give me a shiny Xerneas, I am very much happy for that. Thank you. <laughs> I am a complete slut for that thing. Not as much as I am a slut for shiny restaurants, but oh my! Yeah, <laughs> <sighs> stop dizzy punching me. It's not. You, you're not hurting titanium for shit. Ah, but he did get it confused. God damn it. <laughs> well, that's why I like Bind, because of Pokemon that are hard to bring down like this, that extra chip damage adds up. Right. Ah, finally got it down. down ha to half. Ugh. It's like. Mother. It's like, yeah, why aren't you switching out to another Pokemon that can hit with, like, a special I don't attack have or anything... something? I don't really have anything that would hit any better, because uh, Gigas here is just naturally hard to deal with, since I don't have any fighting-type moves. It's a giant normal wall, and it has pretty high attack, defense, and special defense. I mean, it is a legendary. Besides, I want I want Titanium to get the massive experience boost of finally being able to bring down an actual Titan. Besides, if I kill this, then technically both uh, tit tit Titanium and Blitz become God Slayers. <laughs> and that bind finishes it off. Yay! Fuck you, Gigas. You cannot handle the power of titanium. <laughs> two levels in one go. Haha. -ha. Oh, Rock Tomb. Ooh. Except that this is a steel ground, so I'm still not getting any stab, but, you know. Still, a low like it lower speed. Yep, and I don't need any more defense. This thing already has... Uh, defense stats three times as high as the rest of its stats. Yeah, he's already made out of titanium, so, I mean, why not? And, of course, this this is one of those Pokemon trainers who will heal you like a mid-route uh, Pokemon Center, so I don't have to leave so much to go and heal. I don't have to go as far. Of course, let's get this ether. Alrighty. And, of course, let's see what we catch on the outside of Pinwheel Forest. Uh oh, more bug, more, more, more bug children. Nope, more engineers. Children. <laughs> engineers. Engineer Kemi. Got to move that gear up. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh Fuck you. shit. I do not want to throw a steel. I do not want to throw a steel type against that. <laughs> hey, pass me. What the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> Now see, if BJ, if BJ was here, he'd be busting your balls right now. Oh yeah, he'd be busting my balls right now. God damn it, Kenji! What the fuck? <laughs> Thank you for being our BJ, Ryan. <laughs> oh, you, I'm, oh, I'm nowhere near a BJ. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, thank you for imitating how he would be busting my balls right about now. <laughs> I, I see, I've, have, I've had my fair share of watching the uh, Kirby Superstar playthrough to know how BJ reacts at times. And surprisingly, despite the type advantage, this primate is getting its shit completely wrecked. <laughs> Damn right. 
This is what happens when you try to when you try to put this Primus Rage against the Titanium. Well, it's also trying to lower your stats rather than you know actually attack. That is also true. And you know just use the, just use the type advantage. And then I think at this point I had actually thought of something completely funny. So this this Steelix in particular has Limber for an ability. Look at how it actually moves. Like, it, you'd think Limber would actually be a natural ability with how it naturally moves in uh, the sprites, because it actually does move quite nimbly. Ooh, Lim Mincho! Ooh, Mincho! Uh -huh. I, like, I, I like Mincho. It's a very pretty Pokemon, especially it's shiny. Wait, wait, what, what gen Pokemon is this? This is a Gen Fiver. Ah, okay. Ah, you got my really very long whisker wet. The uh, Fu Manchu. Yeah. I think I think like when I first played um when I played this and I I actually did use a Manchu. You know, I think I actually did name it Fu Manchu. <laughs> I what is? Is this like a ferret? It looks like it's a ferret type Pokemon too. Kind of like a some kind ferret. some kind of a weasel. Yeah, something in the in the family. I don't know. It's like because of its long whiskers, or whatever. For for whatever reason, I think a master splitter. <laughs> master splitter, you dork. <laughs> so just get a bunch of squirtles and a manchow, and then you're set. <laughs> Leonardo, I am most disappointed in you. No excuses when you are leader, my student! Boobles! Boobles! Okay, let's see what you have in store for us. Uh, I have a sentry. <laughs> Damn it, Ryan. <laughs> Engineer Donna! Donna. With a Swablu! <laughs> yeah, only a Swablu! Yep, only one Swablu. And at some point we learned Rollout. I can't remember when. I forgot to stay new sing. Oh, god damn and it. Instantly it pissed me off. Swablu! Why did you put my boobles to sleep? Boobles! <laughs> boobles! Uh, so you'd think after getting, like, punched four times, it'd be wide awake. <laughs> but then again, this is, this is Pokemon, and not, you know, every other RPG out there. How do you astonish the sleeping? Well, whatever happened, it won't- now it woke it up. I am astonished at your lack of ability to actually do anything. I'm gonna keep throwing rocks at you. Oh. Oh yeah. We yeah. Go ahead. Weaken my defense. I doubt too much. I have fucking rollout. Ah. Uh, sturdy and great. Sturdy and great. Yeah. <laughs> Aw, aw, you, aw you, you took away the only 56 bucks that little kid will ever have. Oh well, now it won't eat lunch for today. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> no, my milk money! You two are horrible. <laughs> Welcome aw. to Pokemon! <laughs> it's like, these little fuckers have, you know, fucking Zekroms. <laughs> no, the school kids have Zekroms, the preschoolers have Keldeos. Yeah, that's like, yeah, fuck these children! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It's like, I have Oran Berries. I have Oran Berries, I guess I'll it's get like, one. We'll, we'll kick your ass in a Pokemon battle, then you go to your room! <laughs> to your room! No supper! Oh, God. Okay, well, we <laughs> have we been challenged by Author Pansy. <laughs> oh, lovely! Uh, and he has a Basculin. Oh, that guy, that's, that's not so bad. What the fuck names their child Pansy? <laughs> I don't know. Who names their child N? Or Red? And Blue? And Leaf? And Gold? And... 
gone. A pansy! <laughs> It's like, you know, the other, ones are, just course, like, the other ones are just like colors and shit, so it's like, you know, some of them are passable. But um, you're naming your- you are naming your child Pansy. Like, you know, you're just dooming your kid. You realize this, right? Uh, Boobles, why are you- why are you falling for a fish? Boobles! No! No, my Boobles! No! Oh, that's our second Pokemon! Yep. I Remember how BJ kind of predicted that my laugh meant it never re reached level 18? Yeah, that's pretty much why. Oh, boobles! Hey, boss, kick that fish's ass! I'm gonna yeah. make him a dead. Aha! Uh -huh. I make him a dead fish. I make the fish sleep with the fishes. <laughs> I'll make and him swim, I'll make him swim with the gorgeous. fishes. Oh my god, another one? The dead one? ones. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> well, this one's considerably weaker in level compared it's, to what we had to deal with. Still. Damn it, Pansy! Fuck your couch. <laughs> this Wait. is like... This is like fighting the goddamn Rattatas. We're fighting Gorbuses. Okay. It's except like my Rattata is in the top percentage of Rattatas! Yeah, except this guy does not have it. <sighs> Legendary Bingo again! Mesprit! Oh. oh, shit! But of course, this is a second type. Whoa! So you're dead! Whoa, <laughs> gosh, oh, god damn, look at those legs! Shit! Those are tails, actually. Yeah, oh. yeah, tiny Look at those tails! Yeah, that's like, uh, with all these, um, with all these, like, uh, spirit, um, these spirit legendaries, I don't know, I always liked Ooxie a lot. Like, Ooxie was the one that I used the most. Is that the yellow one? Yeah, the one with the yellow head. I liked Ooxie yeah. a lot. I didn't particularly care for these Mew knockoffs. Alright, shut up, Pansy, and give me, give me your $208. So, we've lost another Pokemon. Oh, Joy. sad face. Wait. Oh, the, that's right. Yeah, this uh, is one Boobles. of those deals. This is one of those deals where if a Pokemon face, then he's pretty much out of the game. What? And here's our Pokemon. Here's our Pokemon feather out. Kadabra. Kadabra. Please tell me you get it. I want my. Sp I want your spoon. Well, if I told you, that would be telling. <laughs> I always found that saying to be silly. Well, if I told you, that would be telling. Well, duh! Yeah, no shit! That's like saying, if I stabbed you, that would be make you bleeding. If I killed you, that would be known as murder. <laughs> if I ate this ice cream, that would be considered dessert. <laughs> <laughs> if I jumped into that pool, I would get wet. Oh yes, Kinesis, the special move of the Kadabra and Alakazam Pokemon. It is completely useless. It is basically a worse version of Sand Attack. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, Here the one move screws. that these... Yeah, seriously, the one move this family has, and it's basically Sand Attack with lower accuracy. <laughs> I still want that spoon. It is not the spoon okay. that bends, but you! <laughs> Oh my! So we have a couple of heal balls, but they're just as good as Pokeballs, so I just decided I've to start never using those. I've never really bothered with a lot of the other extra uh, Pokeballs. Like, you know, Pokeball, well, great, I... Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, you know, occasionally maybe like a Dusk Ball or a Net Ball or something to get a specific type, but something like a Heal Ball or a Premier Ball, I never use them. I've never I like, even heard I of like a Heal trying... Ball. I, I like to use Premier Balls because I like the effect that comes with them. So I try to use them when I can get a chance to. But, yeah, I'm like you. I use Ultra Ball, I use Dust Ball at night or in caves, I use Net Ball for bugging water types, I use Timer Balls for legendaries because of how long those fights will go on. But yeah, in this case, I just had the Heal Balls. Speaking of which, huzzah! Third, third time's the charm! Yep, all three heal balls were used up on one female Kadabra. Alright, what, right, what are we gonna call the Kadabra? I don't think either of you two are going to get this name. Yeah, probably not. Surprise me. P 
pee. Pansy! Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. No, you're not gonna come up, Pansy. <laughs> I will reach into wait. this computer and smack you in the face if you call your Pokemon Pansy. <laughs> Photo F. Fo Photo finish. Oh. What? This was a pony well known for a single tagline. Oh, God. The magics! Shit. <laughs> okay. Kadabra, oh, part we, psychic, we, part we reached, pony. Oh, shit. <laughs> we reached the end here, so we will see you all in the next episode and see what other hijinks we can get into. Bye-bye! Right, see you next time.